let's talk about creating an assignment in which you upload questions through a Google Doc which students can fill out and submit back to you. You would go down here and do create assignment and then you're going to choose the class in which students you are assigning it to. Go ahead and give it a title and instructions. Okay, then I'm going to go here to my Google Drive and I'm going to upload the document. So I'm just going to upload this untitled document. Add. Obviously you'd want to give it a name if you were assigning this to your students. Now here is where it gets interesting. If I'm just uploading something with um, a document attached for instructions, then I would just say students can view the file. If I want students to be able to edit the file all together where they are editing one document and they can see each other's edits and they can see my edits all on one document, then I would do students can edit. But keep in mind when you say students can edit, they are editing the same file and they can see each other's answers. So what I want to do on this, I want the students to be able to go in and fill in answers on this document. I want them each to have their own copy and turn this in to me like they would any other physical piece of paper that was an assignment. So if that's what I want, then I'm going to say make a copy for each student. And that's going to make copies of this document, and so each student gets their own copy, can fill out the form, and then submit it back to me. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a due date, like usual, and I'm going to go ahead and assign it. So now it's assigned to two students, and I see that each of them will get their own copy. When I click here, I'm now looking at the um, internal of the student work on that assignment. I can see these are the ones I've assigned it to. If I want to remove or edit anyone, I can do that here. When I click on each of these, here's Elizabeth's and here's Autry. I'm going to click on Elizabeth's assignment. and I'm looking right here on what she posted. Now I can highlight question one and I can say here is my feedback. I can give comments and edits there. Um, I can say here's the correct answer. So I can go through and edit this whole thing so that she can see um, what's right and wrong. I can change the color and type in red. I can do all sorts of things there. I can do private comments that only she and I can see. Um, again, only she and I can see this document, but these are private comments over to the side um, that if she were to print this or share this, they would not be visible on the document itself. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna give Elizabeth a grade. So I'm giving her a 98 and I'm saying, Great job. And then I can post that private comment. She can see what I said. She's graded and it, she has not received her grade until I say return. It has been returned to Elizabeth and graded. Now it says not turned in because Elizabeth did not actually complete that assignment, but what would happen is she would complete that assignment, I would access it the same way and go ahead and turn it in. So that's pretty much it on the basics of an assignment using Google Docs.